Hello and welcome to this new video in which we are going to be seeing how to run Winbox on a Mac with MUNO processor. As most of you must know by now, Winbox is only natively supported on Windows operating system. If we go to the MicroTik page to the software section and want to download a Winbox, it offers us the 64-bit or 32-bit one, but only for Windows operating systems. MicroTik does not offer a native Winbox, neither for Mac and for Linux, this is a long-standing problem, and Microtik says they are working on developing a native app. But in the meantime, users with Mac or Linux need to do a workaround to be able to run Winbox. The solution to this problem is already well known, and it is using the Win system with Wine. We can run Windows applications on both Mac and Ubuntu or any Linux distribution. However, this can be a bit tedious, and even uncomfortable having to go to the command line and always run wine to open our win box. What I bring you in this little video is a super simplified way for you to run win box on your Macs. The only thing we are going to need are two little programs. I have them here downloaded. The first is Windows in its devil version, and then we have the small zip point win box that is a Mac application package that I put together to be able to run as if it were a native Windows application on Mac. Note that if I unzip this Windows XP, I have an inbox here with the icon and everything. However, if I double click it, it does absolutely nothing. Look down here, he tries to open it, but nothing happens. That's because actually this package card. Use Wine below to run the Winbox X that we can download on the Microtik page. So this Winbox solution goes hand in hand with the Win. Both Windows XP and this version of Wine, specifically, can be downloaded from the Resources section or in the video description. However, if you want the original repository for this weak Wine that I'm using, you can find it here. This is the repository, and the version I'm using in this video is 8.10. If you prefer to download it from the repository, make sure you are downloading this one, Wine Devil Devil 8.10. If you have another version of Wine in your Macs, this win box that I put together is not going to work because it is programmed to use One Devil. If they have stable Wine, for example, which is one of the options we have here. Stage, sorry, it's not going to work for you, only, uh... It works with Wine Devil, so having these two little programs, we simply do the following. I already unzipped the Winbox zip point, and now I'm going to unzip the White Devil. Once we have unzipped, we are going to drag Wine to our applications directory. And we are going to do the same with the Winbox. And even if you don't think it's as simple as that, now we can run Winbox practically natively on our Mac. We simply go to Applications and look for our Winbox. I only have it up here because I have it sorted by modified date. And as simple as double-clicking. And this is very common in the Macs. If this is the first time they are going to run this, it will tell us that Wine Devil cannot be opened because Mac does not recognize the developer, and it can also be said with Winbox. <laughs> this is very easy to solve. We just go to Settings and Security. And here in the background, we are going to find that Windle was blocked. We just put Open anyway. Place the password on their website, whatever they have programmed. And then they put Open. Don't worry. If you see a command line window here, just close all of them. We can close the privacy and security window and now run Winbox again. And now, yes, notice that it worked perfectly. We have our Winbox in version 338, which is the latest to date, the day this video was recorded. And the good thing about this is that this package that they prepared can be updated as if it were a native application. They just go to Tools, check for updates. And how is the last one? There is no new version, but if there is, you could update it from here, and the impacted one will update automatically, so you don't have to go through this process over and over again. And best of all, they can anchor the Winbox in the dock as if it were a native application and more. 
Nobody. You would notice that when they click on the inbox, they are actually running a wine underneath. It is a super simplified way to be able to run Winbox in our hands as if it were a native application. I hope this solution will be very useful for you. And since I've always served, they liked it. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments if you want one second video. Explaining how I put together this packaging. In the event that they want to use another version of wine than the week one, for example. And this would be all about this topic. Again, I hope you find it and leave me in the comments what you think about it. Thank you very much and see you in the next class.